Did you know that Kyle Schwarber is one of the weirdest players in baseball? He has an average of 188 on the season, when the league average is around 250, but he is still considered a good hitter. How is that possible? I will tell you why in today's video. Before we start the video, drop a like to show your support and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all things Philly sports. If you subscribe, leave a comment saying you did so I can reply back giving my thanks. If you are new to the channel, welcome, and enjoy this video on why Kyle Schwarber is the weirdest player in baseball. Back in the beginning of 2022, the Phillies signed Kyle Schwarber to a four-year, $79 million contract. Schwarber was always known as a power hitter, and that is why the Phillies signed him. They wanted to add more power in their already big swinging lineup. Schwarber played the first six years of his career in Chicago for the Cubs and even won the World Series with them in 2016. The funniest thing about that year is that Kyle Schwarber had four at-bats that season until the World Series because of an ACL injury in early April. In the World Series, he raked and was a big reason why the Cubs held the trophy that year. That is only the first of many things I will be talking about that show why Kyle Schwarber is the weirdest player in baseball. After his tenure with the Cubs, he had probably his best season in 2021 with the Nationals and the Red Sox. That season, he saw his average go up to 266 and OPS jump up to 928. Before that, he never had a season where his average was above 250 and his OPS above 900. Skipping all the way to when he began his time with the Phillies in 2022, Schwarber did not get off to a great start. He had one of the worst months of his career in April of that year, hitting only 169 with an on-base percentage of 289. Not only that, Kyle was the leadoff hitter during this time. How could a guy with numbers as bad as these be your leadoff hitter? Schwarber stayed cold remotely until June 1st, when some type of switch was flipped. Schwarber went off in the month of June, hitting 272 with an on-base percentage of 385 and a slugging percentage of a crazy 680. Oh, and he also smacked 12 home runs and 27 RBIs in the month as well. All this coming from the leadoff spot. We have not really seen a player like Kyle Schwarber hit in the leadoff spot. It just doesn't make sense, but for some reason, it works. It became a little bit of a joke on how Kyle magically turned on the Jets when the month of June came. The year before, in 2021, Kyle Schwarber had one of the best months someone could possibly have, hitting 16 home runs and driving in 30 runs. This was the exact same situation as 2022, which is why everyone started turning it into a meme. Wawa even got in on the fun, dedicating Hoagie Fest to Kyle Schwarber and jokingly calling it Schwarber Fest since he was on his power surge through the month of Hoagie Fest. Kyle ended the year of 2022 with a 218 batting average. This is an awful average no matter who you are. He grounded into 10 double plays the most of his career and left 209 men on base the most of his career. Even with this, he still had what was considered a good season after making the all-star team, hitting 46 home runs and leading the National League, and had an 827 OPS. After homering in the 2022 World Series, Schwarber was the first player in MLB history to hit a home run in every round of the playoffs on both sides of the bracket. This was a really weird season for Kyle Schwarber, but it was still considered a really good one. Now in 2023, Kyle Schwarber is repeating history yet again. Through 83 games, Schwarber has an average all the way down to 188, but his on-base percentage is all the way up to 326. How is it possible for a guy to be so bad in the average department, but very good in the on-base department? This is who Kyle Schwarber was and still is. He only seems to hit home runs, walks, or strikes out. He primarily hits leadoff for the Phils in 2023, which is very weird considering how leadoff hitters used to be just a few years ago. You never really saw a leadoff guy hit for power, but you always see them hit for a high average and on base percentage, get a lot of stolen bases, and are quick on the base pass. Schwarber is the opposite of all these traits, but it still somehow works for him and the Phillies. Another fun note to add on is that Kyle Schwarber did it again in the month of June in 2023. Not as good as the two other years, but he hit 8 home runs while driving in 16 with an on-base percentage of 333 and a slugging percentage of 515 after struggling in the first couple months of the season. Schwarber also cannot play the field to save his life. His 2023 fielding percentage is 962, which is not good to begin with. This number does not do justice to how bad he actually is out in the outfield. He has cost the Phillies in so many games this year and makes so many boat-headed plays. The most notable one of the year was the one where he dropped a fly ball against the Braves that would have set the Phillies up in the bottom of the 10th being down only one. Instead he allowed two runners to score on the play and four overall in the inning, losing that game 5-1. to one. He has to remain in the outfield however because Bryce Harper is not able to play the field yet due to his injury. Kyle Schwarber is a good baseball player, a really good one in fact. 
but in my opinion, he is the weirdest player in all of Major League Baseball. His numbers do not make sense for a normal player, and on top of that, he is a leadoff hitter that fulfills none of the qualities of a standard leadoff hitter. It can be frustrating to watch Kyle Schwarber as a Phillies fan, but in the end, he is a player I love because of how weird his game can be, and you never know what to expect from him. That is why I think Kyle Schwarber is the weirdest player in baseball. Thank you guys for watching the video and staying all the way to the end. If you stayed this far and enjoyed the video, drop a like so I know you want to see more of this type of content. Subscribe if you have not yet so you can stay up to date with all things Philly sports. If you just subscribed, leave a comment saying you did and I will reply back thanking you for the support. Let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future and I'll catch you guys in the next video.